pretty obvious thing. Like we wanted to use the 150 jet. I think that, that that was a pretty logical leap because of the parallels that you can draw between bobsled skeleton and you know fighter jets. Um, but it was a challenge to not just copy and paste the design, but try to develop and integrate and and really kind of individualize our design to still make sure that we are we're representing Canadian sport. Our sled tech has to put on these giant stickers now. That's going to be a pain in the butt for him, but I think the design is really cool. I mean, an all red and white sled. Um, this is probably the most Canadian sled we've ever had at any of the games, and at the end of the day, I'm, I'm excited for it. I mean, each each Olympics, we've had completely different sled designs, so it's always really cool to see. Um, and like we've said, with the military, you know, we've gotten really close over the last four years, just really trying to bond our teams and, and becoming Canada, and there are a lot of similarities, so you can really see that represented on our sleds this year. I think it's pretty cool for me because I've been a longtime fan of the Olympics. Uh, I followed bobsled. I had a couple of friends that have been part of the bobsled team over the last 10 or 15 years. So it's going to be pretty interesting for me personally to uh, to see that design. And I'm a big fan of the, the design they did for that demo jet last year. So it'll be uh, very interesting. I think we have a great mix of veterans as well as rookies on this team. So the rookies help bring the veterans down where it's, it's not as intense and so serious and, and helps us remain focused on what the actual goal is. And then you have the veterans that help elevate the rookies on the team. You know, they really are able to show the rookies what it is to be high performance, you know, and how to get the best out of ourselves being in those situations, having failed and succeeded in this situation. So, you know, as a whole, we're really collective. Um, the men and women's team has really worked together as well as the skeleton team. And we really push each other. Um, you know, when, when success happens, we really relish in that. Um, it's something to be celebrated and when not, you know, we've all been in that scenario, we can help provide a lot of support and, you know, better luck next time and, and we continue to focus on the goal ahead and so I think that's what makes this team really strong.